Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at an M2 CS race car. We're here at Mazda Laguna Seca for a Drift vs. Grip Challenge BMW Edition. We do have the M2 CS race car. Like I said, we're going to be bringing the VDC 2.0 M2 Eurofighter and we're going to be taking hot laps here at Laguna Seca to see what's faster in my hands, Grip or Drift. If you guys want to see more, make sure you tap that subscribe button. I would appreciate the support if you like these videos and you keep wanting to see more on the channel. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bells. Be part of the notification gang and uh, tap that like button for the video. I would appreciate all the support. So, without further ado, let's get to it. So we do have the M2 CS racing car first. We do have it in sequential because we don't have my paddle set up because those are look left and right. And look back. So we're going to be using it as sequential, but we're going to go run basically two full hot. I don't know why I use clutch. Two hot laps in this car. The first one is not for time due to coming out of pits. The second one will be for our time lap. And we're going to be seeing what is faster here on the Seca in my hands gripping or drifting around this track in quite similar cars that's why i decided to do this whole bmw battle because the m2 cs racing for the m2 drift car i feel is a fair battle Ooh, cold tires so this first lap is just going to be getting these tires warmed up on this car and then we'll go full send on the second lap it's definitely very weird driving this car with having to take my hands off the steering wheel. Normally, I would be using paddles, but, you know, like I said, look left and right. So, I would say comment down below which car you think is faster. And I want to see what you guys all thought or what you think is faster and what you thought about the results. I definitely do not know what the results are going to be. But we will find out after a few laps here. There we go. I'm trying to just get these tires fully warmed up for this hot lap. Trying to get as much speed off this last turn. There we go. And now this will be our full timed hot lap because of course the first lap is going to be way longer because on the dash it shows three minutes and 13 seconds and that was not how long this is going to take to get this track done cut this one in try and run all this as soon as possible just bounce red line just for a second a little bit on the inside there didn't want to pop that curb we did pop it. We did kind of short shift that going through there. Trying to be as smooth as possible. Like I said, it is very different having to take my hand off the steering wheel in this car. We got this though. There we go. Could have taken that turn a little bit tighter. Try to pop this curb. Just trying to float through this course as fast as possible because I'm very curious what this lap time is going to be. The car has downshift for dummies. But downshift too soon would have popped the motor, so luckily the car does have downshift for dummies. Or AK, okay, me trying to just downshift too quickly. Thinking the RPMs are lower than they actually are. So a pretty solid lap, I would say. So, I wonder what the time is actually going to be. Oh, a little lock up through the last turn. That is definitely going to affect our time a little bit. A little bit too late on the braking section. Across the line, which looks like a 1 minute 37 seconds and 3.51. We're going to go back to pits to double check the full time on this to make sure. So, we're going to go back to pits. And we are going to, yep, 1 minute, 37 seconds, and 351. 137, 351 is the time for this BMW race car. So now let's go drifting and see what we can do. 
So we got the Stay Humble Euro Fighter F22 BMW M2 from the VDC 2.0 pack. We're going to be using this car to go drifting on this track. So 137, 351 was the time to beat. So we're going to see what we can do. We're going to run this in third person so you guys can get the full effect of the car. Racing's a little differently. Cockpit, seeing the apex and stuff. So let's uh, go full set. Remember, the first lap is... Just a warm up, a burner for the tires. We didn't do any tooting on either car, so. Gonna get our bearings straight here. The fourth gear is definitely the gear that we can burn this course in. Try to extend that corner. We got that. And we are gonna try and stay in drift as much as possible on this course because that would be the ultimate challenge and then we should could probably do one where we kind of grip the straights a little bit well this turn we're gonna have to grip the straight a little bit pull it into this turn Ooh. trying to run the racing line as well oh little turn drop so like i said this lap is just to get the tires more oh i see this car gets super squirrely trying to go straight not meant to go straight, it's meant to go sideways. This could be interesting, this corkscrew section. Got it, we're good. Man, stay in drift. This seems fast. This seems like we are taking this course pretty quick. I don't think we're gonna link that one. Very dirty e brake grab very Forza-esque. All right, so we got to try and get as much speed out of this turn as possible. Because this will start the actual time lap. So I know we are going to top out way faster than the M2CS. A little dirt drop, no big deal. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Kind of, kind of tried to get a little bit saucy there and went a little bit wide. So we had a mess up on the final turn in the grip car and the mess up on the first turn in the drift car. So hopefully we don't totally screw this up. Drifting race courses are actually so much fun. I don't know why I don't do this more, but like I said, this is the full BMW show. That's a very dirty e-brake grab. That is a really long e-brake grab. That's back to Forza days. Forza 7 dragging through that turn. Oh, there's another little mess up. Oh, we're in the dirt. <clears throat> we're going to need to get another lap because we kind of botched this lap. Much easier to control a grip car on these courses. I can tell you the amount of times I've ripped Laguna Seca um, on one hand. So we're going to go for another full send lap because I don't think this lap was fast, but we will be able to see our fastest lap for sure. So let's try and not screw up the first turn. Caught that one a little wide. We're going to try and not be too saucy. So let's try and get this one not being super saucy. Turn markers, who needs those? And we did kind of screw it up still. Ah, we got it though. We got this. This is definitely the burner lap, the hot, the, the fast lap. I mean, we're able to keep a consistent speed through the corners sideways, so that's always a plus. Just trying to be smooth on my steering to not over oscillate the car. Not in the dirt this time, a little runoff, but we're good on that. Able the car coming into this 
into this section. Using the angles to try and slow the car down as much as possible. Ooh. Bit of a bobble there, but managed to somehow save it. This lap was actually pretty fast, so very curious what this time's gonna be. Oh, a little bit of understeer. A lot of bit of understeer, actually. All right, we got this, so final turn. Through that wide, just like we did in the race car. Try to get some traction, throttle off a little bit. And across the line. So I'm very curious what that time is gonna be. A little reverse entry. Nope, <laughs> too soon. So we're gonna go back to pits and see what that time was, because I'm very curious. With a time of 142.974. So a little bit slower, which is what I anticipated because of having to stay in drift mostly. Now, if I change the gear, we could get a lot more speed on the stretch. We might actually be able to time it and get a better, closer time. But overall, definitely had a fun time doing this. If you guys like this, if you guys want to see more of these, tell me which cars, which tracks. I'll take a look at them and we'll throw it down. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you find the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.